this past week I shot four weddings in four days, drove 700 kilometers and drank about 10 cups of coffee. And I'm gonna show you some highlights of how it all went down. Before we get into the video, if you can like and subscribe, um, that means more than you know, so thank you. The first wedding I shot was um, up in Glenworth Valley and it was about an hour out of Sydney CBD. This one was a big day, it was a 10 hour coverage, um, but I was lucky enough to actually have my partner along with me to second shoot. So that was nice and that definitely helped me get through the, the long day. So the highlight for this wedding was definitely um, when they let all the horses back into, into their big paddock and there was about over 250 horses just crossing this creek um, and we were able to be amongst it all and get some really cool photos. And yeah, I think that's gonna be a, some photos that I'll never forget and also some moments that I'll never forget. It was pretty cool to experience that, um, being so close to such beautiful creatures, um, but also yeah, be able to get some really cool photos for the couple. Not gonna lie, I was pretty scared because I was focused on taking photos, so I wasn't actually like looking where the horses were. And sometimes I'd be looking through the camera and then they'd, I'd look up and there was a horse right next to me just, yeah, it was a bit freaky, but at the end of the day it was, yeah, it was really fun. Just a little note, I haven't looked at all the photos from all of these weddings that I'm gonna show you. Um, I've just managed to edit a few to give to the couple as a bit of a sneak peek. So I'm just gonna show you some of those photos. So the second wedding was a wedding located in the Hunter Valley and it was actually quite nice having a bit more of a relaxed backyard kind of wedding um, this time around, especially coming off a, off a 10 hour day. It was only a 5 hour coverage so half the amount of time but it was yeah super relaxed, probably about 50-60 people um, and yeah it was in someone's backyard, a really nice property up in the Hunter and I couldn't express to you how like relaxed this wedding was. Um, no speeches, no formalities, it was just ceremony and then a bit of a hangout with all their, all their closest friends and family. So yeah, it was really, really special. I've always loved capturing these more low-key, um, intentional weddings where they're just more about, more about the couple and not about like the performance of putting on a wedding for, for everyone. Um, yeah, it's no stress, it's just all love, so yeah. Really love those ones. I've shot plenty of double headers um, as a wedding photographer and most of you guys watching probably have as well. And yeah, by the end of the day, um, I was pretty wrecked. And so coming into this third wedding, I was starting to feel it a little bit. Um, and I didn't do myself any favors by not having lunch before this wedding. So I was definitely starting to feel the tiredness and the fatigue. I didn't have to travel far at all, and this one was located in Mossman. Yeah, so a really beautiful Sydney Harbour wedding. So as I mentioned, I didn't eat any lunch. And so by the, by the time the reception came around, I was pretty gassed and I was definitely feeling it. I started getting a bit lightheaded and dizzy and that wasn't doing me any favors, but it was kind of okay because it was getting towards the end of the night. It was lucky I didn't have to interact with anyone too much because it was just the speeches and a bit of dance floor at the end of the night. And then I finally ate my dinner, um, which kicked me back into gear for those that last little stint of the evening. So the third wedding, I definitely went through all the emotions of, of shooting, but got some really fun images and yeah, really happy with these. Last but not least, day four. And not gonna lie, this is probably my favorite wedding I've shot this year and possibly even all time. This wedding was located down on the south coast of New South Wales um, in a place called Jerigong. And it's just absolutely stunning. It's only two hours out of Sydney. Um, and it just kind of feels like you're in a different world. These big, beautiful rolling hills right on the coast, 
genuinely like right up to the water and it just feels like you're in Scotland or Greenland or I don't know just somewhere different from Australia not a gum tree in sight which is which is rare this one was a six hour coverage and it was at a place called Seacliff House just the couple and 20 of their favorite people as I mentioned before I'm a huge fan of these small intimate weddings um, it just kind of encapsulates the couple for who they are and all the people that are actually like really important in their life and that have actually had a bit of an impact so yeah it's nice being able to capture the dynamic of of a day like that where everyone there is intentional i guess just kind of to wrap up um this wedding yeah it was definitely like one of my favorite weddings i've ever shot and in all honesty i think it just kind of reignited that passion and gave me the chance to remember why i love taking photos of weddings and being a part of people's biggest day of their lives to be able to capture it and tell their story um, that's unique to them. So yeah, it was just a really nice reminder um, to do what I do and be excited about that again. If you've made it this far, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for watching all this way. It does mean a lot that you're here watching this video um, all the way through. So if you're here, comment coconut water, just like usual. If you're a wedding photographer watching this, from wherever you are. I'd love to hear some more of your stories as well about your double headers or any of those moments where you kind of realize the excitement and joy of why you do what you do. So yeah, comment down below your stories. I'm be keen to chat with you guys. That's gonna be it from me. So thank you, thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon.